We woke up with this huge honker on our face today, so let's get rid of it. So as many of you know, I am doing a dermatologist recommended skincare routine to get rid of my hormonal acne. So this is just benzoyl peroxide. And last night before we went to bed, we used this tretinoid cream. Chapstick is a must. It's like semi-snowing here in Colorado. But honestly, December and November are the only months that I really like snow. And it's just because of the holiday season. Like that's the only reason. I'm gonna let this sit for a second because then it helps like mattify it and make it really stick. I'm extremely jealous because my boyfriend only has like three more days of work before his holiday break and I'm just like, oh. I'm so jealous of people that get like the two weeks of holiday breaks. We're also at the age for Christmas where everyone is like asking for our Christmas list. But to be honest, like I don't really have a Christmas list because everything that I really could want, I just used the wrong concealer on my eyes. Anyways, I could just buy for myself. But I'm curious what everyone else has around their Christmas list. I'm also using and have been using for like the last couple of months an eyeshadow palette that's probably so expired. And I've been seeing all like the horrendous videos of people using expired makeup. And I'm like, oh geez, am I gonna get an eye infection here? But I can't find any other ones that I love the colors as much. These Get Ready With Me's are actually really therapeutic because I feel like I'm hanging out with a bunch of girlfriends. And I've just always been that girl that really wanted like a community of girls. I work in sports, so I'm constantly surrounded by men. I'm also like not the girl that has that girlfriend group chat that like talks every single day. And a lot of my girlfriends have that. So it's kind of always been one of those things that like kind of bumps me out because I've just never had it. This is the best stuff. But I feel like I found that here on TikTok. Like I actually get so excited when people comment on my TikToks. And trust me, it's not like every single TikTok I post, so many people are commenting like other creators. But it does take a little bit of self-confidence to be able to put yourself out on the internet. And I've always said, if I can just help one person feel confident because I showed them like one piece from Amazon, that'll make them feel good. Or by encouraging them to start content creation. Or honestly, even to show you a girl who had zero self-confidence in herself, that you can definitely have self-confidence and you just have to believe in yourself. I love you guys.